disgusting. You don't feed this to people. What? Unacceptable. This brother can't cook. This is not jello fries. Mm. You need to be able to cook the jello fries properly if you want to find a wife. Hello, I'm Jason and I'm trying other Nigerian men jello fries. It's the rice that goes platinum with no features. You can eat it as its main dish. It's not a side dish as a rice, like Nando's rice. Jello fries is one of that dish that when you say Nigeria, you hear jello fries. You know, you can't go wrong with it. Actually, no, I'm lying. People actually go wrong with it. Like you can eat it in the morning, you can eat it in the evening, you can have it for lunch. If you mess it up, people will crucify you for years. Chicken on the side, planting on the side, coleslaw on the other side, it's like you mix it all together, you make a dream. It's a main dish, so yeah, jello is, it has my heart. Add some ketchup in there and then boom. You're like, wow, I didn't know there was ketchup in this, you know, this tastes really good. Yeah, there's ketchup in it. A whole bottle. Okay, not a whole bottle, let me behave. What kind of rice do you use for your jollof I know people are gonna get at me. You lot, basmati rice, that's what I use. I'm honestly indifferent about the rice, I don't know. It's just, as long as the flavours are there. I do not like long grain rice. Long grain, you can actually eat it and you'll get full. Basmati, you'll eat a whole plate and it feels like you just ate half. It's about the hand that makes it. If your cooking is rubbish, your jollof rice will be rubbish. So it's a special recipe, man. It's a special one. Generation to generation. I'm sure the first place is just waiting for me right now. I've got my recipes. I've got my secrets, so... I'm ready! My hand is the flavour, the spice, the colouring, and the little ingredients that nobody knows about. That's the reason why my rice is the best. Boy, uh, mm, mm -mm. Office Dex, this is looking great. I don't know who made this, but I'm, ha I'm happier with you. First of all, this guy knows what he's doing. Why did you put chicken? Because I didn't put chicken in mine. You know what you're doing. So do you know what? I like the color of this rice. The color, you nailed it. Um, the sauce to rice ratio was good. I can smell Maggie. Serious Maggie in this one. There is like an overpowering smell of like Maggie. It does smell, it does have that uh, party rice smell. When you go to a party, they make that massive pot and it's just fine. You know the aunties all put their arm in to really mix that one down there. Yeah. Let me try this one. Hmm, this is new. It's okay. It's good, but slight over seasoning. Yeah, it's a new flavor that I haven't really come across. Like, I wouldn't be mad if I went to someone's house and they gave me this. I'm tasting more of a seasoning than I would taste of just the jollof flavour. It's okay? Yeah, quite solid. You know, I've tasted work, so I've been impressed. Oh, I don't to attack this chicken, but obviously. Well, I'm big, big. No one's stopping me. Do for after. You say for after. This meats. Let us talk in. The chicken's not that flavoursome now. I'm surprised, because the jollof is packed. It doesn't particularly taste of anything. The jollof flavours is too high, chicken flavour too low. You, you need to get control. They get no control in this house. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's, I give this one, it's okay. They what tried. Eight. Yeah. yeah, strong eight. 6.5. A six. The texture, the colour, the richness, the flavour. I probably nailed it. This is party jump. Getting, getting to it. Getting to it. Ooh. This is a setup. This is a set up. So, you know how Mufasa and Scar, Mufasa is the orange and Scar comes in boom with darkness. It makes a beautiful match. This is amazing. Actually, let me, let me, let me calm down before it actually doesn't take amazing. Mushy rice, as you can see here. A big piece. The person has burnt it from the bottom. If I turn it over, you can see the more orangey side here. That is unacceptable. 
What I will say is that it does smell really good. Smell-wise, um, very oily. This is the rice that will give you spots tomorrow. You know the ones where you just hear... No, why am I hearing that, man? Hey, mm -mm. Mm -mm. This brother can't cook. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, if you enjoy it in your house, you enjoy it in your house. Um, I'm trying to upset your belly. I believe that this brother cannot cook! Oh, please arrest whoever made this thing. Let me taste it again so I can actually tell you what's going on. Yeah, so one, it feels like the spice was not mixed properly and the spice has just been thrown in after it's been cooked. That's what it tastes like. Two, it feels like, you know, mushy peas. That's nasty. This is like rice pudding jollof. <laughs> rice pudding. You know how the rice is in yogurt? This is what it tastes like. Ah! Yeah, I'm, I'm not really on board with this one. And then you're going to be out trying to find wife. Like, you, you need to be able to cook the jollof rice properly if you want to find a wife. You don't do this to people. How will you provide for family with this food? And I really hate to do this. I, I'm going to have to give it a two. In fact, a one, actually. I give it one because it almost looks orange. I'm so sorry, you're getting a two. Please, I don't even want to see this thing from my sides. By the time I open my eyes, I want this food off this table. <laughs> My mama's recipe, the, the, the jollof I've grown up on, I'm ready on the next level. I'm telling you, there's certain levels of XP. I'm, I'm here, these people are just gathering here. Okay. He's fighting for his life to get separated. Hold on. It doesn't look fresh. Yeah, it looks alright as well. That's alright as well. Um, okay, it, it's, it's looking good actually. I like it. it. Smells like Walker's barbecue crisp. You have to like dive in to see the moisture, but it's, it's looking good. Yeah, I think I'm going to need a telescope to see that moisture. Hold on, where you at? It's alright as well. Let me see if it tastes as well as it looks. <laughs> what? Sorry. <laughs> this is not jollof rice. <laughs> Definitely not spicy. Definitely not spicy. So, kind of threw my taste buds a bit off. You don't feed this to people. It's orange. Ah. Good effort, like I said. It tastes like instant noodles, that's what it is. That nasty noodles, that's what it tastes like. That's enough. Yeah, this isn't jollof rice. This is not, this is not jollof rice. A little bit of like, mm, it just tastes nice. Then it hits you again. No, I'm good. I don't know, this is rice with red food colouring because I can't even taste the tomato and barbecue flavouring. I'll probably give this like, I would say, a strong, strong, strong seven. I'm gonna give this one a three. Because you wanted to come here and be funny and feed me noodles covered as jello fries, I'm gonna give you a three. Sorry to that man again. You know what? I feel like my jello fries could be a winner here. I may have this jello fries in the bag. How does this look to you? Let's dry. Oh yeah, my jollof is usually more orange when I eat it. There's like little shines on like two grains of rice here, but yeah, the rest of it, it looks dry. In the process of cooking, he didn't, the ratio of the sauce to the rice wasn't, wasn't balanced because um, I can definitely see some white bits, so the rice wasn't fully immersed in the sauce. And you know, with jollof rice, it's, it's proper orange, you know, like proper reddish orange, so this is slightly on the orange side. And then usually jollof that looks like this doesn't taste necessarily packed with flavor. It looks like he cooked it on the day, it was good. A few days later, you want to just grab it from the container, the ice cream container in the fridge, and it's dry. Yeah, that's how it feels like. Yeah. After that, I'm not going to say. Extremely um, mushy rice. Mm, not bad. 
I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get the flavor. The person has the right idea. It looks like jollof, I guess. And I don't know, I'm just kind of feeling like it's white rice with a pinch of, with a pinch of tomato on it. Mm. You have to give when you make jello fries. You have to make it with love. And the thing is, I don't feel you made it with love. I feel like you rushed this because it's dry. You know the spices, isn't it? My only reservation is um, the, you know, the ratio of the sauce to the rice. But you know what? God loves you, so that's good. You can feed it to God. He will probably say he's amazing, but not me. Quite good. Quite good. There's just nothing special to me. I'm just like, ah. Now 10, let say 5, 5 out of 10. Um, Nick. I'll tell you, this is getting a 5. Sorry to that man. My general advice is the best thing. I knew it was going to win anyway. Please, the other people, they can go cry. You people are rigged. <laughs> this show has to be rigged because, uh-uh, this show is rigged. People don't know good things. That's what it is. Take it, take it. Well, congratulations. Man can throw it down in the kitchen. You people that don't know, man threw it down in the kitchen and man won.